angry guy here. And women are now wearing headscarves to try and trap men. By the way, shame on you for making me bring back the intro. Shame on you. I used to get to save at least a couple of seconds not having to do with the intro. And now you maybe bring back the intro. So today we're discussing why women are now wearing headscarves to try and trap men. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, this girl, her name is Jasmine. She is a trad con on YouTube, Christian. She makes a lot of videos talking about relationships, Christianity. And now out of the blue, she's wearing a headscarf. Let's go ahead and see what she has to say. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. I just find this to be kind of outrageous, by the way. Welcome back to my channel. I have been really wanting to talk about huge crimson red flags to look out for when you're dating, and many of my viewers have been requesting this video, so here we go. Also, I just want to clarify that I don't like the term high value, low value. I'm not really a fan of red pill terminology in general, like trad wife, hitting the wall. I just need to title my videos in a clickable way so that the algorithm actually picks up my videos and even shows my videos to my subscribers. So this is more of a video about red flags, but low value is much more clickable than red flags evidently. So I'm just playing the YouTube game a little bit. It's all the same content, all the same points I would make for a red flag video, but the title is just more clickable. Also, if you are looking for a flawless man, you are not going to find love. Everyone has caveats, including you, including me, everyone, but Jesus has red flags because none of us are perfect. And So I usually don't interrupt when I'm playing the videos, but what she's literally doing here is using plausible deniability to get away from the fact that she's talking about how to, you know, screen men and avoid low value men while not wanting to take accountability for referring to men as low value this way she won't have guys go, you know coming after her for this video basically saying that how dare you say this how dare you make this kind of video and then she can turn around and turn and say oh no 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 i'm not i'm not saying that men are low value and i'm not trying to make that kind of video i'm just playing the youtube algorithm right plausible deniability but yeah i know guys i know you guys don't like me interrupting we'll jump right back most of these points should include nuance. Everyone also has different thresholds for what they consider unacceptable behavior. However, there are red flags and crimson red flags, and I had trouble with identifying crimson red flags before I found my husband. So I hope that you find value in this video, and please consider becoming a patron through the link in my description box to see the 12-point version of this video and to join my book club. And let's just get into it. The first point is that he tells you that he's not sure what he's looking for romantically. A high value man, so to speak, is a man on a mission. He knows what he wants, especially romantically and sexually. I want all of you forever, you and me. He only goes. This is absolute bullcrap. I know, guys, you don't like when I jump in. I'm sorry, but the BS meter is off the chart. A high-value man has options. So a high-value man is going to take his time. He's not going to jump into a relationship with a woman immediately. He has a bunch of other choices. He's going to basically look at what his options are, and he's going to work from there. What's happening here is this is her action trying to tell women, don't chase men. And the fact of the matter is that if a woman wants a high-value man, she's going to have to chase him because a high-value man has options terrible advice and this guys what they're seeing here is they're seeing that the power is being lost the men are walking away from western society are walking away from relationships in western society and they are furious about this because you're seeing more and more women saying that you know these guys want the princess treatment they want women they want women to chase them in reality men are realizing that they're the prize and if a woman wants them they're going to have to compete notice a woman has no problem with men having to compete with other men for the for the same woman and a man must give a woman time he must give her breathing space so that she can come to the natural conclusion if she likes him or not. But a man has to is supposed to be constantly out there being a simp, chasing women, bombarding them with text messages, basically, you know, telling her, oh, you're so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. When in reality, that's the kind of behavior that turns women off. All right. 
on the other hand, she doesn't like the fact that high value men have all the power in the relationship. They're the ones that the woman is going to want. She's going to have to put up, put up some work. And women in Western society don't know how to compete for men anymore because they have not had to do so in for most at any point in their lives. That's something that changed over the last 30 to 40 years. This is very, very intriguing. Again, I know you guys don't like me interrupting. This probably won't be the last interruption either. Goes on dates, he only flirts with girls, he only has a dating profile, he only slides into your DMs. If he actually is open to getting to know someone, if he wants to find someone to commit to. A very desirable man, in my opinion, decides that he wants to get married and then tries to find a wife instead of just casually talking to people with no trajectory, no direction in mind, and maybe wants to get married if he finds the right girl. A very desirable so guys, horrible advice, horrible advice for men. Any man who does this is seek is basically going to end up in a position of misery. You never tell a woman right off the bat that you're looking for someone to get married to because that what, what that conveys to her is that, okay, I've got him. So he's now an option. He's a prospective option. I already know what he has. I already know what he's what he's looking for, and I can string him along for as however long as I like while I'm speaking to other men and having relationships with other men. This is how women like operate in modern day society, and it's a part of female dating strategies. They literally have entire Reddits dedicated to teaching women how to do this, and they'll tell women to basically string the guy along for months, don't give him anything until you're in a firm relationship with him, if that ever happens. And while you're doing this, have a couple, you know, guys for hookups on the side, so you're having your needs met while he's basically starving and sitting around waiting on you terrible 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 desirable man also in my opinion is not afraid to tell a girl very early on that he's looking to get married that he's actively pursuing marriage unfortunately this direct intentional marriage-minded approach is more controversial these days than the approach of actively being in the dating scene with only sex on the mind only wanting casual hookups which is so so unfortunate if a guy tells you head on while you're just getting to know him that he's looking to get married that is a green flag to me generally speaking a man not afraid of commitment knows what he has to offer a good woman is decisive, wants to build a life with a woman, not after instant gratification, green flags everywhere. Now, this does not- Keep in mind, guys, so basically what she's saying is this is what a woman imagines versus what a woman actually wants. A woman does not want a man that is ready to commit immediately. A woman actually views a high value man as a man that takes time to get gets to know her and then makes a decision. A woman wants a man subconsciously that she actually has to do, put the work into, and she has to chase. She does not want a man that has higher, that has lower value than she does in the relationship. That's the honest to goodness truth. And that is a, that is literally a setup for, for disaster. That's, I mean, that's divorce right there. I've said this before and I'll say it again. A woman is planning her divorce before she plans her wedding. And this is just another perfect example of that. I know you guys absolutely despise me right now for interrupting and there's going to be more interruptions coming, but that's just how it is. Cause she is just literally just, just, she's just, she's just on my last nerve. She's just on my last nerve. I've actually thought about having this girl on, onto a podcast to talk about our different views and beliefs. And, you know, I just have not been able to pull the trigger yet because she infuriates me not mean that a high value man even wants commitment right now it just means that he has a trajectory and that he's very honest and unapologetic about his trajectory so why would a high value man that doesn't want commitment right now come out and uh, and say i'm looking for marriage that makes literally no sense how do you say in the same breath that a high value man who has no interest in mar in, in, in a commitment right now will will still come out and say that he wants that he ultimately wants marriage that's insane that's absolutely insane how can you say that a man that's not looking for commitment is also looking for marriage and will come out immediately and say this guys are they trying to like is she trying to sabotage relationships and then of course look at the look 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 at this guys she's wearing a headscarf why are you wearing a headscarf as a christian that is disrespectful. I actually know Islamic people. I have spoken to Islamic women. And, so, and something that an Islamic woman actually said to me years ago, she said, this is our thing. This is our choice. The hijab, the headscarf, these are our things. We don't like when other people do it just for the sake of doing it. All right. And this is what they're trying to do now. They're trying to look more modest. She's wearing this not because of religion. She's wearing it because she's trying to appear more modest. 
guys, this is insanity. And then, of course, we live in a guilt-based society. And I told you, women are in women are are, are their accomplices in the with the church. It's it's their accomplices using the church to extract wealth and resources from men and keep men in a system of guilt-ridden shame and fear if they don't abide by the churches and religious teachings that have nothing to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm just literally, dis I, I am dis disgusted and dismayed by what I am seeing here. And it's increasingly more and more difficult to listen to this video. What I mean by that is perhaps you're interested in a man and you casually ask him if he's in a relationship or something and he tells you immediately and unequivocally that he's not looking for a relationship, that he's not looking to date anyone. That unfortunately kind of is actually really desirable to hear because it means that he's, a, that he's on a mission, that he's very decisive, that he knows what he wants to focus on and that he's not going after anything meaningless and casual, which also means that he likely has a lot of self-control. He probably just wants to focus on building up his own life so that he will have a lot to offer once he wants to settle down with a wife and family, which is very- In reality, a guy who says that he's not looking for anything doesn't mean that he's not involved in something. A guy like that, who's a high value man that's going after his mission, will often basically say that this is what how it is. So he may not be in a relationship, but he could be in a situationship. In a, in a lot of situationships, okay? So I don't know what she's, basically what she's leading, go, going to lead women to is heartbreak, believing that this guy, a guy that says that he's not looking for nothing is basically a guy that's not out there having relationships with women. No, he's not looking for a committed relationship. That does not mean that he's not going to involve himself in situationships where he's, you know, cat where he may spend time with someone or he may have a, a intimate connection with them. All right. And if you're dealing with a high value man, this is the type of man who may literally never get married. This is the type of man who is focused on his purpose. His purpose is his is, is, is just that. That is the focus of his life aside from his relationship with, with God. So he is not going to this. I'll be very clear. A guy like this may never, ever get married. OK. And of, and of course, she's here giving terrible advice. I've said this already that these guys, a lot of these men who are pa the password, password kings, they're leaving Western society. And this is like the last group of men that are going to be those guys that will actually settle down and get married quickly. Because most other men now are going to say no. They're not going to get married. They're going to be focusing on their purpose, their passion, or, and, just, and, and, living, and living lives of peace. And guys, and that's why that's why the saying goes: If you want to catch a fish, you don't ask a fish how to fish; you ask a fisherman. Because any woman listening to this advice is going to find themselves in a, in, in just lots of lots of hardship. Okay, if a woman, this is it's it's just ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. And the crazier thing is that it's like giving giving women advice on men at this point is just like what kind of advice are you giving to these women? This is going to sabotage them. Okay. This is absolutely going to sabotage them. It's like women don't understand men. They only know how to manipulate men, but they don't actually understand men. They don't understand what drives men. They don't understand the thinking of men. They don't understand the internal dialogue within men. They don't comprehend any of these things because everything has, has, has been handed to them for so long. Relationships have been handed to them for so long because they have a an army of simps in their DMs at any given moment. They feel that they have, you know, considerable, considerable amounts of options, so they don't actually have to understand men. She's, this woman is basically just making it up as she goes along, and she's been married for some for quite some time along with a kid. So how is a married woman who doesn't even know these things going to sit out here and give advice. Oh, simple, because she's imagining what she would like versus what she would actually do. And she's talking from a place where it doesn't mean anything for her because she has nothing to risk. She's not risking anything or losing anything, although she can now make a lot of money off these women that are trying to land these tradition, these so-called traditional men, which, by the way, I said women will no longer have access to these men. Because if they remain in Western society, they are walking away from Western society. And if they want, and if they want a woman, they're going overseas outside of Western society to find someone who they very likely will not bring back to Western society either. Unbelievable, guys! I can't watch any more of this video. I will link it to you in the description. I'm sorry, I just can't listen to this woman speak anymore. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me. You know, just how insane this is that this woman, that women are now wearing headscarves to try and trap men. I want to hear your thoughts. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.